Hello everybody, this is the Johnny Mayor, and welcome back to my let's play of Resident Evil 1 Jill scenario. Last time we finished up the dormitories and we actually got our last mansion key, the helmet key. As you might have noticed just then, I did get rid of my Beretta, and I permanently switched to the shotgun and shells. Or at least for the next little while, because we need a little bit more stopping power than the handgun offers. There are some new beasties we're going to be facing once we get back into the mansion, and the handgun is basically a pea shooter at this point. Hey, a radio. This is Jill. Brad? <gasps> it's broken. <laughs> This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. Brad, it's Jill! It's Jill! <laughs> uh. And if I'm working with faulty equipment like uh, Brad is, I'm probably not wasting time saying, I know you probably can't answer me. I'm going to be succinct and to the point. Like, head for the mansion, or I'll be coming around the front. But whatever. Obviously, I'm not Brad. I'm playing the role of Jill. Head back up our elevator here to the infamous snake zone. And in homage to one of my favorite Let's Players, Necroscope86, I present the following. It's a rain and snakes. Hallelujah, it's a rain and snakes. Hey, hey. And I've noticed that the dogs seem to have disappeared, at least the two that were outside of the dorms. So I'm not sure if that's the case for all of them. So if I wouldn't have killed those other four dogs, would they have been gone if I came back through? If uh, any of you know that, please let me know. But we are almost back to the mansion. We just have to head through our little storage shelf area here where we got the crank. A very unimportant item, if you remember. And then we get this nice little long hallway. And there's our door to the mansion. Uh, and now... A moment I've been dreading. The introduction of a new enemy type. Oh god. Here it comes. Uh, it's coming right for us. Say hello to the hunter. These guys are nasty. Die! Run towards them because they use a uh, jumping attack that, oof, that is super powerful. And so they can actually take your head off in one shot if you will give them the chance. That's why it's important to keep running towards them, because then they'll slash at you on the ground, which doesn't do quite as much damage. So that was a pretty tame attack. That will not hold out, I bet, because there are a lot more in the mansion now. Turn on this switch, and we get our first Magnum Rounds. Awesome. Which, of course, means we're very soon going to get the Magnum, or the Colt Python. And here we have another unimportant book. Doom Book 1. Well, let's check it out. <laughs> yep, nothing important. What's it called? Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. Hmm. And if we open it up... Ah, there's a medal inside. So we got the Eagle Medal. And you need two medals, an eagle and a wolf medal, in order to access a laboratory later in the game. So we are halfway there. All right, let's head towards the save room and do some more hunter killing. Whew. He's around the corner here. Ugh. Ugh. Get it? Just die. There we go. 
Depending on your range, it can take anywhere from three to five shotgun shots. What's this? Put some bullets in the back room. Aw, oh, thanks, Barry. Instead of giving us stuff, you could have just come and protected us with your magnum, but whatever. So what did he drop off? First aid spray? Not bad. Some more shotgun shells, that's always good. And those look like acid rounds. Sweet. So let's redo my inventory and once I'm done, I will meet you back here. Okay, let's move on. So I stocked all that stuff. We need to head towards the other two rooms that we can open with our helmet key and go through a couple more hunters. And I really can't stress enough, hunters can turn the game around very quickly. All it takes is a couple shots from them and you can be gone with Jill. <laughs> hey there, buddy. This one's facing the other way, so we can hit it in the back a few times till it turns around. Jeez. Man, that one took five shots. <laughs> Look at its death keels. So if you remember this room back earlier in the game, it's where we had to use the lighter to get the map. Well, there's a locked door over here to our character's right. And that is one of the rooms we can open now, but don't go through that door yet because that is a boss encounter. And once we activate that, it's kind of a point of no return, at least for a little while. But I like to open the door because then we can get rid of our key quicker, which gives us more inventory space. Ah! Okay, buddy, and ah, there's the jump attack. Get it? Ugh. Man, I hate hunters. But I'm sure you figured that out by now. There's another one through here, so be ready. Oh man, I hate it when they go around a corner. Man, still not dead either. Ugh. Can you imagine taking these guys on with your handgun? I mean, I've never even tried that, but I would imagine they take, I don't know, 10 bullets maybe? 15? With them jumping all over the place, coming after you? Feel free to give it a shot if you want to, viewers. I, I want nothing of that. So, like the zombies before, we have two hunters in here, one on each side. I can't see them. Ugh. So we'll clear out the one over here, because it's actually in our way. There we go. Uh, and I'm down to caution. So I am in great danger. If I get nailed with a flying attack, I will die. So hopefully that won't happen, but I can take one more ground strike before I have to heal. Oh, <laughs> he's over there. Jeez. Kind of a waste of bullets, but definitely worth it to not get nailed. All right, and here's our last helmet key room. Yes, I will discard it. So what's in here? Hmm. The hunting room. Let's push these steps. For no particular reason. And what do we have here? Orders. X day is approaching. Lure stars into the lab. Huh. So this might have all been planned from the beginning by Umbrella to get data apparently about their B-O-W, whatever that is. And 
and sweet. We get more magnum and also shotgun rounds. Always worth it. Now, what's going on with those steps? Let's hit this switch and see. Hmm. Shiny. Let's climb up there and see what it is. Will you try and take out the eyeball? I guess so. Something bad gonna happen? Is a hunter gonna come in? No. I think in the uh, remake, a hunter does come into the room and attack you. Fortunately, not in this version. All right, so with that jewel, we can now go get the magnum, but we're gonna have to go through some hunters to get there. Three of them to be exact. So there will be two down here that we'll have to get through very carefully. And then one more in the next area. All right, buddy. Nice, charge. Good. Okay, that was pretty easy. I like it when they cooperate. And the other one's around here, checking out the corner. I am not above shooting something in the back. Especially something that can kill me so easily. <laughs> All right, one more to go before the Magnum. Sweet, sweet firepower. He likes to zip around the corner here. Ah! Oh, jeez. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, man. I cannot believe I didn't die there. That was so lucky. Oh. I was expecting to see the death animation, which we have managed to avoid so far. No promises that will continue, though. So we have our second eye for the tiger statue. Throw it in. And... I have this. The Colt Python. Look at that sucker. As far as I know, this is the most powerful handgun in the game and perhaps the most powerful weapon. I don't know if the acid rounds are a little bit stronger, but this thing can take out most regular enemies with one shot, including hunters. So suffice to say, I am going to be holding on to this and saving this ammo because we will need it during the second part of the game, especially during the final boss encounter where I will be uh, abusing the Python quite a bit. Now. This hallway, we're going to have to use a little bit later, so we need to clean it out. And there's two hunters in here. There's one behind us, so quickly run. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Nice. One more. Ugh. Oh man, kill it. Ugh. <sighs> So once we access the basement, we can come through this door here to get to a save room. So I will be using that. But for now, let's make our way back towards that other door in the uh, lighter room. And that is where we'll be taking on our next boss, which is actually a familiar face. AKA someone we've already faced. Guesses? We've only faced two bosses so far. And since I've cleaned out upstairs, let's head back up these stairs. So if you don't want to take those hunters on, you certainly don't have to get the Magnum, but it is the best gun in the game in my opinion, so there really is no reason to not do it. It is certainly worth the effort. So nice to be able to run through these halls without having to worry about things jumping at my head trying to decapitate me. So 
So shotgun's still good for this boss encounter, so we'll take that along as our weapon. We are going to have to get a couple healing items, though, because uh, it does do quite a bit of damage. And also it can poison us, so we want some items that can get rid of poison as well. So I'm going to switch out some of this inventory, keep my shotgun, grab a couple healers. And I think I took... Yeah, I'm on yellow fine, so we'll uh, have to take another single herb and uh, actually use it so that we get back up to full strength. Stupid combat knife. Silly. Okay. Full heal, poison recovery, extra green herb, and in my next episode... We will take on a boss. So hopefully you're all excited for that. So until next time, as always, thanks for watching. And I will see you all next time.